So at one of the segments that we do get into, we do get into the top fives, all right? So in so with the world and now now because I know that you said you wasn't you didn't have the comic books, but from what I'm seeing, like you do have a good vast knowledge of the the comic book world now because like, you do those those recaps which are be killing me when you be doing like your recap like all of the Avengers or you did a recap on Game of Thrones and all the seasons and everything. So I want to get from you. Who are your top five superheroes currently? Ooh. Top five. Let me just rattle off some and then name them. Can I? Does Wolverine count as yep, a current? Count, count. What about it Iron have, Man? It could be just in general. Your, your, your top five in general doesn't have to be in top one. dead. What about top dead? <laughs> um. Shit, bro. I can talk all this shit, but I can't like <laughs> give me Black Panther. Okay. You know, off the rip. Oh, I like Luke Cage, man. Oh yeah, yeah. You I like Luke. I like Luke Cage as a as yeah, a superhero. Luke I know that that Luke was Rage out here doing some things too. Oh no, not Luke Rage. That's that's a whole <laughs> other conversation. Uh Luke Cage, uh I fucks with Daredevil. Okay. You know, I do. I do like Daredevil. Um, I don't. I don't know, bro. Like that's you, it, like I've, I've always talking. loved Wolverine. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I've always loved Wolverine. Um, I do think. Sidebar, I don't consider Batman a superhero. I consider him a w- rich man with resources. <laughs> um, That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I I need to see one more Aquaman film before I'm all in, but I, I enjoyed what they did with the first one. Um, Magneto. Wow. I can throw me out. I can see Rock that. with Magneto. Magneto's like an anti-hero. I, I can throw people. Magneto wasn't fucking with y'all till y'all killed his family. And then he had to start putting that thigh out on y'all. <laughs> All right. So one thing that I do like to ask comedians, trying to get some freedom, right? Trying to get some freedom. Um, I, one thing I do mm-hmm. like to ask comedians because it usually comes with some good stories. Top five cities that you performed in, and again, it doesn't have to be in order. Cleveland, Philadelphia, San Francisco. Chattanooga, Tennessee, and ooh, Atlanta, Atlanta, Denver, neck and neck. I think I'll say Atlanta. Okay. But Chattanooga, bro. I might have to go back and shoot an hour special in Chattanooga one day, bro. It was that good? That shit was. I ain't never forgot it. Chattanooga and Cleveland. I've never. And, I'm from Birmingham and I love the crib, but they don't be laughing at me like that because I'm too familiar. Yeah. You know, that's how it be. But yeah. Cleveland, Cleveland, bro. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's dope. That's super yeah. dope. All right. So, the last thing that we do before we get out of here, we do recommendations. It could be something that you're reading, you're watching, that you're doing, or that, just something that you think that our listeners and viewers should get into. Um, I would recommend downloading uh, Roy's Job Fair. Available wherever you get. <laughs> that's that's too easy. Um, the art of effective communication. Hang on, I'm gonna give you the real name of this bitch. I'm gonna get shit. I'm on airplane mode because my mama keep calling. Me. <laughs> Th- there it is. Effective communication skills. Okay. It's a long ass audio book, man, but it just breaks down. Basically, it just makes you a people whisperer on how to talk to people, how to deal with people, how to deflect bad energy when people coming at you, how to manipulate people into giving you what you want without a fit. You know, like it's just, it's dope. It'll help you professionally and it'll help you in your personal life as well. Awesome. 